Hey, how's everybody doing today? I hope and pray uh, everybody listening is doing well. And I wanted to get on here and make a video just to talk about the signs and the seasons we are in about the convergence of so many prophecies around the time that we are living in right now. Obviously, there's been several prophetic events that have been fulfilled, but nothing like in the days in which we are in. You know, when you look around the world and all the stuff that's going on with the coronavirus and all the happenings throughout the Middle East, Israel. When you look at the Revelation 12 sign that happened in 2017, you know, these were all prophetic markers. And those markers are pointing to an event and that event is the catching away of the church, the rapture of the church. You know, as we look and we study scripture, and we see each event, each biblical prophecy being fulfilled. We've got to ask ourselves, how close are we? I, for one, believe that we are extremely close. We are living in perilous and unprecedented times, and yet Scripture tells us that there will come a time that is magnitudes worse than what we are going through right now. Here in America, we're pretty protected, and we don't see the or feel the effects of what is going on around the world. But from the persecuted churches throughout Asia and the Middle East to just the complete uh, lack of regard for the Lord throughout Europe and even starting here in the U.S. and to where they're really pushing to try to remove any mention of Jesus Christ out of every bit of our society. And again, these things, all these things have been foretold if you study Scripture. You know, as we sit back and as watchmen, as we, as we watch and wait for the Lord. I'm just reminded of those who do not know the love and saving grace of Jesus Christ. As we are at home with our friends and family, I've said this, I have said this multiple times. This is your time to shine. If you are a follower of Christ, please share the love and saving grace of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Share by the soon return. Let people know that the times, the things we're going through right now could be the last marker, could be the last warning. Throughout all of history of the U.S., there's never been a time where people have been at home for any length of time like this, where schools have been closed down, where businesses have been closed. This is no time to waste. This is a time to, again, share with your friends and family at the very minimum. If you're called to do more, that's great, and I encourage that. But as you see the day approaching,
it is extremely evident that we are in the end of times before the catching away or the rapture of the church. The dispensation of the church age is about to close. And soon the great tribulation will start. And I've said this in many of my videos. I believe that the rapture of the church, the catching away, the harpazo, will actually be the event that kicks off or starts the great tribulation. As a Christ follower, you are called to not only show the love of Jesus Christ, but also share of his good news, share of his return, share about these events that are taking place. And maybe you don't know what to do. There is a multitude of resources that you could look into. Maybe you don't know what to say. Maybe people are asking you questions. Maybe, maybe they're asking you, hey, is this... Uh, is this one of the seals being opened? I've heard that one. Or is this, you know, is this the end of times? Or this is just a bunch of baloney? Or, you know, whatever this is, it is obviously extremely, extremely dire that we share the message of Jesus Christ. We are not promised our next breath of we are not promised tomorrow. Will the rapture of the church, will the removal, the catching away of the bride of Christ, those who are sealed in Him, those who love Him, those who are honestly waiting for Him, will that happen at any moment? I honestly believe that it will. Jesus Christ is giving us every single opportunity to give our hearts and our lives to Him, to trust and believe in Him. And yet, obviously, Scripture will be fulfilled because there are many, many that will not. They'll disregard it. They'll even get to the point of refusing Jesus Christ. Please, today. Commit your life to Jesus Christ. Understand that He loves you. He died for you on the cross to make a way, to make a way for you to enter heaven if you trust and believe in Him. Please, if, you, if you're on the fence about these things, study Scripture. But please, understand that you've got to make a choice. This is a free gift, and so you have a free choice our Lord and our Savior is not going to force Himself on you, but He will make a way. He'll make every opportunity for you as an individual. If it's through a family member or a friend speaking to you, if it's even something over the radio or possibly television, if you're going through a circumstance that you don't know what to do, if it's this entire event, maybe you're off of work and out of work right now. He will use everything for the better good of His kingdom. Is this His final call? Even if we go on for a little bit longer. I mean a little bit. Say we go on for another year or two. The reassurance of knowing where your eternity will be spent will bring you joy. As a Christ follower, we have an internal joy that is not only unmistakable, but it's also hard to explain. But knowing that when we pass from this earth, that our eternity is sealed in Jesus Christ, is sealed in heaven. 
So yeah, we may have, go through trials and tribulations. We may have circumstances that come up and we may act out on those. I, I know I have. I've, I've messed up quite a few times because I'm not a perfect person, but my perfection is found in my Savior and the blood that He shed for me. That's where my perfection lies. It is not in what I could do, my performance, the things I say. It is 100% sealed in trust and believe in Jesus Christ. Will you trust and believe in Him? This is not a religious activity. This is not a church activity. This is between you and your Savior, completely between you and your Savior. You know, I've, I've come on here um, hundreds of times. I've made hundreds and hundreds of videos. It is kind of ironic that uh, YouTube has taken down probably a couple hundred of my videos. And Anyway, you were created for such a time as this. It is your time to shine if you're a believer to share the gospel with those around you. And if you do not know Jesus Christ's love and saving grace, you can enter into a beautiful relationship with Him. A relationship that will guarantee you a way off this planet before all destruction and all, for lack of a better term, all hell breaks loose here on earth. When the rapture happens, the restrainer, that is the Holy Spirit, will be removed, restraining the enemy. He will be able to do as He pleases here on earth. You do not have to go through that. And maybe you're one of those people that are looking forward to this and maybe you're looking forward to doing whatever you wish but understand everything comes with a consequence and everything comes with a price are you willing to sacrifice your eternity now picture this I'm not talking about a few minutes a few days a few years for that matter I'm talking about eternity in a measurable amount of time suffering forever in a place called hell. You can bypass that. You can know the one who saved you, the, to know the one that has the keys of hell and death, the one that saved you, the one that redeemed you on the cross. You have a way out of the tribulation. You also have a way out of hell. Maybe you've never been told this before. But I, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I'm here to spread the gospel. I'm here to share what will soon happen. And that what will soon happen is absolute chaos on earth that you can avoid and you can enter into heaven, the most wonderful, beautiful place in existence, if you trust and believe so today. I hope you hear these words. Is this the last call for Christ? Is this the last call to get on the ark? The choice is yours. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Will you give your life to Him? Will you trust and believe in Him? The rapture will happen soon. Will you be in the rapture? I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. And as always, it is in the name and by the precious blood of my Savior, the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ the Lord, I pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.